Hi everyone, welcome again. In this video, we will see how to filter records using Spring Data JPA. Before we do that, let's have a quick look at the project setup. So, to start with the database, we have this user table which has five columns and we have five records. ID is the primary key which is auto generated. Then we have the name, email, registration date. This column has different dates so that we can filter records using different combinations of dates. And similarly, active column is a Boolean column which has the corresponding DB value 1 and 0. We will write queries to filter the records on the active column as well. Coming back to the project, we have a simple project. We have the user entity which is mapped to the database table. So we are simply using at the rate entity, at the rate ID and at the rate generated value because ID is the primary key which is auto generated. We are not using any other annotation in the entity, so it's a very simple entity. Coming back to the application.properties, so here we have configured the required DB details like username, password, database URL, so SQL for the debugging, and the DDL hyphen auto so that Hibernet can create missing tables and structures if and when required. In the pom.xml, we have the basic dependencies. Spring Boot Starter Data GPA and MySQL Connector J because I am using MySQL database. And the last file is user repository, which we will cover because we will write methods in this user repository to filter the records. Let's start with the main class. Here in the application runner bean, in this method, this code is commented because I ran this code to insert the records which we saw in the table. These four records. We don't need to do this anymore because we already have the data in the table. Let's quickly understand what do we mean by filtering records. Here in this table, let's say we want to fetch records where name is user1. So that is filtering. Similarly, we can have different combinations like name equals to user1 and id equals to 1. That is one combination. Second filter could be fetch all the records where active is 1 or all the active records. Another filtering criteria could be fetch me all the records where registration date is greater than 1st of January 2023. We know how to write such SQL queries. We can write SQL queries to filter the records. But how do we do that in the Java code using Spring Data GPA? That's what we are going to cover in this video. If you have ever worked with JDBC or Spring JDBC, then you know that we can always write the Java code in which we can write the queries using select where and everything which is provided in the SQL so we can use those clauses to write the queries as we want. But how do we do that in Spring Data JPA? There is a much simpler way in Spring Data JPA to write such code to filter the records based on some criteria. Let's start with the user repository. Here you can see that we have defined lots of methods in this interface which we created user repository. This repository is extending JPA repository. Let's explore these methods one by one so that we can understand the filtering logic in Spring Data JPA. Now, instead of writing code similar to JDBC, plain JDBC or Spring JDBC where we write native queries using select clause, where clause or order by clause, in Spring Data JPA, if we are using such repositories, we can write simple methods and it will instruct Spring Data JPA to generate the queries accordingly. So if you know, if you have been following the past videos where we saw how to set up user repository or such repository, in the last video we also saw how to use pagination and sorting using Spring Data JPA. And if you remember, we did not write any code, any native query to do that. We simply extended the JPA repository or CRUD repository from the Spring framework and Spring was able to generate the code the required code and the queries with the help of Hibernate. And in the same way, we can write custom criteria, custom filtering logic in the form of methods. Because this is interface, we don't really need to provide the implementation of any method. But if we follow a certain criteria, if we follow certain guidelines, then Spring Data JPA can generate the queries based on the method that we have written or based on the method signature. Notice that all the methods in this interface start with find all or find by. Now this is a keyword which Spring Framework understands 
and if spring data jpa comes across any method which starts with find by or get by it knows that it has to generate queries with where clause it knows that we are trying to filter the records we are trying to implement the where clause what spring data jpa will do it will skip the find by part and after that it follows the camel case to extract the properties that we are trying to use in the filtering logic so for example in this case because we write the method name as find by name it means that it has to trigger a where clause using the name property and the value of this property will be used whatever parameter that we pass when we call this method so the query generated by spring jpa will look something like this for this method where name equals to this value similarly if we take the example of this method here we say that find by name like it means it will skip the find by part it will pick the name property and apply the like criteria so the resulting where clause would look something like this where name the this is the name of the column in the table like because we write like here and the parameter which we passed here now we can try different combinations like starts with ending with in both the examples it will use the like but notice the matching pattern so here it says starts with that's why we see this placeholder in the end but in this method we say ending with so the placeholder would be like this similarly we can implement the or condition in this method we say find by which will be skipped name this is the property property number one then the keyword or it means we want to implement the or condition and then the second property so the resulting query for this method would be where name equals to this value or email equals to this value similarly active is another column in the table this one which is boolean so we can write a method find by active the name of the property and the boolean value which will be passed to the query now notice this method which is yet another way to order the records in the last video we saw how to use sorting but this is another way to sort the elements in this method we are saying find all which means fetch all the records then order them by name in the descending order this is the keyword which tells spring to fetch all the records then this is the keyword which tells spring that we want to order the records this is the property name and this is the direction ascending or descending similarly if the column is date related then we can fire queries like find all by again this is the keyword we want to fetch records by registration date which is the property name or the column name before the date we passed so we want to fetch all the records whose registration date is before this date the date that we will provide similarly if we see this method here we are trying to fetch all the records where registration date falls after the date that we provide because we are using the keyword after year we can also pass multiple dates to use the in which means find all the records where registration date lies in these dates the list of dates or the collection of dates that we will pass so the important thing is in all these examples we are not writing the logic we are not writing the implementation we are simply writing the methods declaring the methods in the interface but we are following a guideline we are using the keyword that spring understands then providing the property and the keyword that's all it takes for spring data jpa to generate the queries automatically all right now let's try to use these methods let's let's try to run some code and see this thing in action to do that we go to the main class where we have all these implementations already so starting from this one here we are calling find by name method of the user repository and passing it a name this is the method which is coming from the user repository and notice it doesn't have any implementation the implementation will be generated by the spring framework at runtime talking about the other method we are calling find by name like passing it a name similarly starts with 
passing it a name so it will fetch all the records where name starts with user in this example it will fetch all the records where name ends with or this is an example of how to use or condition so it will trigger a query where name is null or email is email1 at the rate email.com find by active will return all the records whose active column is true it means all the active records so if we go to the database and check there is a single record which is not active because the active column is zero that means when we run that method we will get three records here we don't need to pass any parameter it will fetch all the records and order those records by name in descending order in this example it will fetch all the records where registration date is before this date that we provided which means 1st of february 2023 similarly this method call will return all the records where registration date falls after the date that we provided which is 31st of january and finally the last method in which we are passing a collection of dates uh, to check if the registration date is in one of these dates so let's run the program and check the output. So the program ran fine and we see lots of data in the logs. Let's start from the beginning. The first method was to find by name. And if you notice, this is the query for that method, which says where name equals to the value that we passed. And we got this user back because that's what we passed to this method and this query was generated by the spring framework automatically check the like one here the query is using like for the name column because that's what we are using here right find by name like starts with again with the name property and notice all the records returned by this query where name starts with user but if we check the ending with which says that fetch me the records where the name is ending with four here we got a single record user four because only this is the user whose name ends with four user four for find by name or email we see the query generated by the hibernate which says that where name is null or email equals to email one at the rate email.com this one so we got one record find by active says where active is whatever value we passed which means true so we got three records because there were three active records notice this one it will fetch all the records but it will order the records by their name in descending order so we see user 4 first and user 1 as the last record based on the ordering that we provided now coming to the date methods so for the before notice the query generated by the hibernate select all the columns where registration date is less than this date that we provided so we got two records in the response and check the registration date it is less than 1st of february so this is 1st january and this is 15th january so these registration dates fall before the date that we passed here this one for the after we see the query changed to registration date greater than the value that we passed here and similarly for the last method we see the query generated by the hibernate is checking registration date in and all these values that we passed that's pretty much it on the filtering records using spring data jpa this is the pattern that we need to follow in order to write methods in this interface and everything else will be taken care of by the spring framework that's it for now. Thanks for watching.